Elementary Science Class 7. Nutrition in Animals. Digestion in Humans. Did you know that the human body has a complex digestive system? Yes, it's fascinating how our body takes in food, digests it, and utilizes the nutrients. Exactly. The digestive process begins in the mouth, where we chew the food and mix it with saliva. That's right. The saliva contains enzymes that start breaking down the food, especially the starch. Interesting. And then the food travels down the esophagus, which is a tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. Ah, uh, yes. The esophagus uses muscle contractions to push the food down into the stomach. Exactly. In the stomach, the food is further broken down by digestive juices and acids. That's fascinating. I didn't realize the stomach played such an important role in the digestive process. Yes, the stomach is a crucial part of the digestive system. It helps to break down the food into a liquid form. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid, and digestive juices. The acid kills bacteria and helps the digestive juices break down proteins. Wow, that's interesting. What about the small intestine? The small intestine is about 7.5 meters long and receives secretions from the liver and pancreas. These secretions help digest carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. That's a lot of information. What's the role of the liver and pancreas? The liver secretes bile, which helps in the digestion of fats. The pancreas secretes a juice that acts on carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, breaking them down into simpler forms. Fascinating. And what happens in the large intestine? The large intestine is wider and shorter than the small intestine. Its function is to absorb water and some salts from the undigested food material, and the remaining waste is then eliminated through the anus. Digestion in grass-eating animals have you ever noticed how cows, buffaloes, and other grass-eating animals chew continuously, even when they're not eating? Yes, I have. What's that all about? Well, it's a process called rumination. These animals quickly swallow the grass and store it in a part of their stomach called the rumen. The rumen? What happens in the rumen? In the rumen, the food gets partially digested. This partially digested food is called cud, and it later returns to the animal's mouth in small lumps, which they chew on. Wow, that's fascinating. Why do they do that? Grass is rich in cellulose, a type of carbohydrate. Ruminants like cattle and deer have bacteria in their rumen that help them digest the cellulose. Ham, I see. But other animals can't digest cellulose, right? That's correct. Many animals, including humans, cannot digest cellulose. But animals like horses and rabbits have a special structure called the cecum, where bacteria help break down the cellulose. Fascinating. I didn't know animals had such unique digestive systems. Yes, it's truly remarkable how different animals have adapted to their environments and the food they consume. Feeding and digestion in amoeba. Amoeba has a cell membrane, a rounded, dense nucleus, and many small bubble-like vacuoles in its cytoplasm. Wow, that's really interesting. How does amoeba move and capture its food? Amoeba constantly changes its shape and position. It pushes out finger-like projections called pseudopodia or false feet for movement and to capture food. That's amazing. So how does amoeba feed on its food? When amoeba senses food, it pushes out pseudopodia around the food particle and engulfs it. The food becomes trapped in a food vacuole. And then what happens to the food inside the vacuole? Digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuole, which act on the food and break it down into simpler substances. The digested food is then absorbed by amoeba. Fascinating. So amoeba uses this process to get the nutrients it needs to survive and grow. Exactly. 
the undigested residue of the food is also expelled outside by the vacuole.